Oh, oh, not another dragon. Dragon! Dragon! Have you spoken to Parthenax? Mountain. <sighs> yeah, it's already dead, Lydia. Oh, the thing did say they wouldn't listen to Parthenax. Yeah, it looks like he was right. Anyway, I want to look at this museum. Do you know where it is? That looks like it might be a museum. And here comes my first visitor. The Museum of the first Mythic visitor. Dawn is open, friend. Okay. Uh, Museum of the Mythic Dawn? Yes. My collection of artifacts from a group that toppled an empire. Why don't you come in? You can browse the displays and we can talk. I yeah, have okay. a job you look perfect for. Uh, 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 a job? Let's talk inside. Okay. Feel free to look around. Come talk to me when you're ready to discuss that job I mentioned. Um The tapestries this... hung here and outside were found in hideouts where members of the Mythic Dome would meet and hideout. Plot. The cult's greatest accomplishment was the assassination of the Septim Dynasty and the opening of the Oblivion Gates. Um that doesn't actually sound sound very good. Uh, this is just your home, isn't it? What do you have Those to... robes were worn during the Mythic Dawn secret meetings? where they plotted to bring the Daedra Mehrunes Dagon into Tamriel. Each bolt of yarn used to make the robe was colored with a dye made from sacrificial blood. Oh, they don't sound very pleasant, do they? Well, at least you've got some, some artifacts. Okay. Um... That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Xarxes, the blasphemous book written by Mehrunes Dagon himself. It's said that Mankar Cameron used the book to open a portal to a paradise 
where all his followers would live forever. Um, why do I think that didn't happen? Okay, um, oh, we've got some more books here. Ah, the commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes were written by the Mythic Dawn cult leader, Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died, that they would be reborn by Merun's Dagon's side. Right, um, I, I would always be suspicious of anyone saying something like that. Uh, I think, let's see, what the, what's the catch? Okay, um, ooh, you've just got a bit of something here. Um, I think you've mislaid a piece of your sword or dagger. I think it's a dagger. You seem to have lost a bit. Did you have any questions about the museum, or would you rather talk business? Okay, so what is what was this this mythic dawn cult thing? They were worshippers of Merun's Dagon, the Daedric Lord of Destruction and Change. Oh, not another bleeding, the bleeding mythic prince. dawn killed Uriel Septim the Seventh and his heirs, right. triggering the events that led to the Oblivion Crisis when the oh. Daedra invaded Tamriel. All that remains of the infamous cult, I've gathered in my museum. Okay, so who is Merun's Dagon then? Ah, an excellent question. Merun's Dagon is the Daedric Lord of Change, Destruction, and Ambition. Dagon's mythic oh, dawn cult well, killed the Septim Dynasty and opened the Oblivion Gates into Tamriel. They called it the Oblivion Crisis. Well, so why why did you um why did you open this museum? Was it just to basically stop? history be repeating itself maybe it's no secret that my family were once members of the mythic dawn mm. one of my forefathers was even chosen to assassinate uriel septim himself right we hid from our past for years became tradesmen people of coin and influence yeah but i realized that the mythic dawn's importance our importance to history cannot be denied i'll see everyone in tamriel remember that for a moment we held the fate of the world in our hands, for good or ill. Right, I'm not sure that's the best reason. Um, so what was this job that you were talking about? A little history first. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. Yeah, quite reasonable. One of these groups found Merun's Razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. It sounds that was good. almost 150 years ago, yeah. and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group. Good. And they're right here, in Skyrim. <laughs> Isn't everything? Okay, you want me to get these fragments? At least two of the owners, Gonzal and Draskua, are dangerous marauders. And the third owner, Jorgen, I only know he lives in Morthal. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. What's this razor thing? The razor is Merun's Dagon's personal artifact. It has always heralded bloody change and carnage. It's held many names. Dagger of the Final Wounds, Bane of the Righteous, the Kingslayer. The Mythic Dawn worshipped Dagon as a god. Having his razor would be invaluable to my collection. Well, it certainly sounds like it should belong in the museum. Good luck finding the fragments. Just maybe not yours. I'm sure Morellis would like the artifact in the Dragonborn Gallery. Um, I'd rather keep it out of his hands. Lydia, if we don't get this razor thing, he's going to find someone else who'll get it. And then it will end up with him. I, there's something about him that I, 
that I really don't trust. <laughs> Well, well, Shadow Man, it's like we're going back the way we came. Um, hello. Unless it's about the mill. I don't have time to talk. Too much to do. The mill is my responsibility. And that's what I care about. That's all. Understand? Okay, yeah, um, but I would like to know about Maroon's razor. Don't know what you're talking about, stranger. Um, well, this Silas bloke in Dawnstar says that you do. I've heard of him. My father had suspicions about his connection to the mythic Dawn. Guess they were true. I don't need this. My family wasted eight generations keeping that razor safe from a dead colt. As far as I care, I can stay locked in my house. Uh, you won't... You won't miss it, then? I don't care, but my ancestors do. You can't have it. I'll pay for it. The vines know the mill could use some new blades. All right. It's yours. Here's the keys. It's locked in the chest inside my house. I don't think I'd give just anyone the keys to my house, if I had one. The last time we came to a place like this, it had some weird creatures in it. Um, I've heard that they're called hag ravens. get through. Thank you. Um, don't step on this thing. 
I know I've been wrong before, but I'm not this time. I could have tried to remember it. I was a bit more focused on on getting this thing before silence. Silas gets someone else to do it. be another one of those hag ravens. <laughs> 